What's up, YouTube? It's Jacob from Always Fresh Apparel, and today, my dog just came sprinting in the frame, we are back with my entire vintage t-shirt collection. I am super excited about this one. This is probably my most requested one, so I'm really stoked. I got about 60 shirts. Those are just personals. I've seen hundreds and hundreds come and go, but these are the 60 that I've decided to keep for now. So being a vintage collector for I don't know, since 2012, I used to go to the trip to the thrift. So being a vintage guy for almost seven years, I've seen it explode and some of the prices have exploded also. But we have a little saying around here, don't tell me you can't find steel. So that leads in today's sponsor for the video, which is Shop Tagger. So thank you so much, Shop Tagger, bam, for sponsoring this video, it means a lot. So with vintage, there are some people out there that decide to price it very, very high, but realistically they know they won't get that. So sometimes it's beneficial to wait it out and see if they will drop the price, which is where ShopTagger comes in. I like that little segue. So ShopTagger is a Google Chrome extension that alerts you by email or mobile push if a product that you saved went on sale or if the price changed in any way. So this can apply to vintage. So some of the sites for vintage that they work with are Grailed, Depop, The Real Real, uh, True Vintage, and What Comes Around NYC. So very big name vintage vendors. So first you're gonna wanna open Google Chrome, go to shoptagger.com, click Get Shop Tagger, and click Add to Chrome. It's really that easy. So first you're gonna wanna go to a site that you like and then find a product that you want to be alerted of if it goes on sale. So I'm just gonna pick out this Harley Davidson tee right here for 36 bucks. Not a bad price, but we wanna get it for a little cheaper. So in that top right, bam, there comes the shop tagger. You click if you want it to be notified when any price changes, and then I just added it to my vintage list. You can make multiple lists and then click save, and then bam, there you go. So once you click save, it goes right over here into your dashboard. So I have it set from, or designer or vintage, and I have saved some products here from Essence and then from Grailed. So once you click on those things in the dashboard, it will actually then take you back to that listing on Grailed, and then bam, where you can purchase it. Which I really want this t-shirt, by the way, but. 250, not right now. They've also just recently launched a feature where in your shopping cart, when you click proceed to purchase, there will be a coupon section where you can look and see which things, which site is offering for discounts. So not only are you getting the price drop, but you're also getting the coupon. So that's a nice little addition. So definitely please go download Shop Tagger. The link will be in the description. I really appreciate them for sponsoring today's video. And you guys know me, I wouldn't take a sponsorship if it wasn't something that I actually use and actually think would integrate in with my channel. So this is something I do believe and do back. So thank you again, Shop Tagger. Let us get on with the vintage, baby. So I have them all in front of me here in piles. Um, we have black music tees, white music tees, and then just assorted colors of just random graphics like Harley and Betty Boop and stuff like that. Um, so we will start off with the black music tees first. And I did want to put this out. If you do want to email me, jacobjkeller at gmail.com, if there's a shirt you like, I'm not opposed to getting rid of it. These are just some ones that fit me really well and the wash is really great. So I keep them. But I realize that I can't wear 60 shirts. Email me, let me know what you're feeling. I might get rid of it, okay? Okay. First off, we have this Kiss Alive Worldwide 1996-1997 World Tour. I love this one because of the feel and the fade and the colors is really, it would even work with this outfit right here. This isn't like a super expensive t-shirt. It's just the fade and the wash and the colors. Next up, I guess you could put this in here, is my Rebuild by Needles Johnny Cash t-shirt where they took what is it, one, two, three, four, five, five different vintage t-shirts and put them into one. Uh, this is a one size fits all, so love this shirt just because of the, the needles, you know, needles. Next up we have this, ooh, this looks, this looks good in the light. This Rob Zombie t-shirt that I actually printed over and I printed over the Hell is Here, so that's our, like our Hellmart logo uh, at one of our flea markets where you could do that. Um, you could pay five bucks and print over a vintage t-shirt, so I printed our Hell is here graphic on top of this Rob Zombie t-shirt. So then it becomes one of my most worn shirts. Next up, we have this Pink Floyd North American Tour 1994. This one skyrocketed in price. I have no idea what happened. I bought this for $50 a few years ago and now I think they go for three or 400 printed on that good old Barackum tag. The fade and fit on this one is the reason. It just is, it's awesome. Next up, probably my favorite I don't know, this probably is a grail, like one of my favorite tees of all time with the colors, with the with the band, everything. 
Soundgarden, Black Hole Sun, front and back print on the Brockham tag, size XL, super faded, super worn out, single stitch, all that good stuff. Chris Cornell, I think I've you talked about, because I've already probably seen this, was one of my favorite singers um, and just musicians, artists of all time. Uh, so I think you've already seen this one. Next up is this insanely faded Pearl Jam Boundless um, printed on the Hanes Heavyweight t-shirt and on the front it says Marriage of the Elusive Ones. The fade on this is crazy. Look at that back right there. That's insane. Um, this one's great. I don't wear it as much. It's a little big, but I don't know if I want to get rid of it yet. So I don't know. Next up, we have this Nine Inch Nails one. Bam, front and back print. Now I'm nothing. Printed on the Hanes Heavyweight tag. Single stitch on both hems, baby. This one's great. Um, it actually fits me a little more slim, which is what I'm trying to get into instead of the super oversized. So yeah, look at that back. Love this one. This one is another Nine Inch Nails. This is their World Tour 1994. This is probably one of the craziest Nine Inch Nails tees I have. I have never seen this graphic. So the front's crazy. The back is also crazy. I have never seen this one. My guy Cheeto sold this to me. And it's got barbed wire actually going all around the front print. And then on the back, it's obviously got like nail graphics and two with all the different crazy colors. Like this one's insane. It's not super faded. Um, I wish I wish it were a little more, but that just comes with wear and wash. All right, so this one is the first of probably five of the Cure t-shirts, one of my favorite bands. Um, this one is, this one I wish fit me better. As you can tell, it's kind of long, um, but I really just love the graphic and love the front and back print. So I haven't gotten rid of it yet. It is printed on a Brockham Group, one size fits all tag. Oh, I'm not ready yet. It's from, it's from 1992, the year I was born, that's why. Those ones always have a little special place in my heart, so. Next up, we have the Type O Negative. All you need is blood printed on the blue grape tag. I think one of the best fitting shirts is blue grape. And then on the back, it's got the green flag. Uh, love this one. Actually, Owen sold me this one, and I I was just gonna see if it fit, and if it didn't, I was just gonna you know put it for what I paid on Hellmark, but it ended up fitting real nice, so I'm keeping it. Next up, we got, again, one of my favorite bands and one of my most worn shirts. The Pink Floyd Wish You Were Here shirt, where Travis Scott got it from. This is where it originally came from, and I got it on my stomach. Um, this is like one of my favorite songs of all time, and I got I got the tattoo in memory of my grandparents. All four of my grandparents are, have passed now, and just kind of like a little wish you guys were still here kind of thing. But this is one of my most worn t-shirts because of that message and because of the song. So yeah, it's great. I love this one a lot. I keep spinning it around. I should probably just hold it in one position. Now this one's probably one of the most commented on ones that I have. I wore this in one of my recent Instagram pictures and everyone was going crazy over it. This is again, the Prayer Tour, the Cure t-shirt. This one's insane. It's printed on the Brockham one size fits all tag. So it is pretty massive, but you can't replicate the fade of this. Like this was genuine wear, like genuine wear and washing. And then it does have the back print right there. My shoulder is absolutely destroyed right now. Um, I should do this, but then I cover my face, which is pretty by the way. Okay, sorry, shit, let's get on with this. Uh, that sounded like Sheck West. Okay, bam. One of my favorite t-shirts with the purple, with the blue, with the red. Another one of my favorite t-shirts is Violent Femmes Added Up Tour One with the front and back print. Um, mainly because it's super short, wide, and boxy. I love adding that with some jeans and some loafers, so there you go. Okay, sorry if the angle just adjusted. I had to answer a call about my car. Someone hit my car, so that was a very important call. Okay, next up, we got the Pearl Jam, a live tour, baby, with the back print, with the posted note, and then the, the tape going all around, printed on the, the baby Fruit of the Loom Made in USA tag, single stitch goodness. Got this from my guy, Radical Retro, here in Portland. Thank you, brother. Next up, we got this super faded, super soft candle box FU, because it's got a skeleton flipping you off, with the candle box on the back. I do, I might get rid of this one, so if someone's interested in it, email me. It does fit me pretty big. I would say it's like an XL, double XL. So just hit me up. I do love it though, the, like it's super, super soft and faded. Next up, another grail, one that's so hard to price. I've tried to sell it, I don't know what to put it at. This is a 1989 Jane's Addiction, El Ritual, De Lo Habitual, t-shirt with the girl on fire and the chains all up. It's got like rips everywhere, which is super sick. It is a Brockham XL but because of how old it is and because of how like much it's been washed, it's like basically a medium or large now. So it fits me super short, super kind of fitted. I don't know, I don't know what to do with this one. I love it, but uh, 
I don't know. I don't know. Next up, another one of my favorite tees. This is a Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers Echo Tour 1999 with the 1999 on the back and the contrasting collar. That's crazy. Printed on the Winterland tag. Another one, a great fitting shirt. Not single stitch or anything. Not every shirt has to be single stitch, but it's a great shirt nonetheless. Next up, we have this super faded and thrashed Jimmy Page and Robert Plant shirt with the World Tour 1995 on the back. That front is like so faded out. Led Zeppelin, another one of my favorite bands. Um, what is and what should never be, that's right, that's what it's called, is one of my favorite songs. Ramble On, all that stuff. Black Dog, amazing, amazing band. Um, so yeah, this one is single stitch on the bottom. It's got a little hole right there, which is all good. Next up, bam, we got this Ozfest one, which fits me super well. It's like kind of like a, like a slightly oversized large, so a little bit more fitted. The front print right there, as you can tell. And then on the back, the band list is crazy. We got Rob Zombie, Slayer, Godsmack, System of a Down, Deftones, uh, Slipknot, Push Monkey, all this kind of stuff. So the back is crazy as well. And it's got some like bleach fading right there. Love this one, love the fit on it, love the fade. Next up, we have this Megadeth one, which I love, but as you can tell, it's pretty small. It is a size large, so it fits more like a medium large. So someone could hit me up about this. The back print's crazy as well. Single stitch on the Brockham. Um, this one's amazing, just is a little bit fitted for me, so. Next up, another one of my favorite bands that just make the best music to work out to, ACDC, Ball Breaker. This one, I've had three of these now, and this one's definitely the most faded on the front. As you can tell, some of that white's been crackled. And then uh, the 1996 World Tour on the back, single stitch again on the infamous Brockham tag. So Brockham to me makes the best fitting vintage shirts. Next up, we have this Marilyn Manson tee, 1998. The back says there's a hole in our soul that we fill with dope and we're feeling fine. This one, again, it's not super faded, but it fits me really, really, really well. And I love that front print right there. So this is also one that I tend to turn inside out if I just want a basic blank black t-shirt because there's no tag. So I can wear it inside out and not worry about it, so. Yeah. Continuing with The Cure, this one is Swing Tour 1996. I love the golden red, so I went to a high school here that actually um, their, the colors were like literally this like cardinal and gold. So this one kind of has a special place in my heart. And I love that it's literally just like a flipped version of them on the front, but with the shadows. Um, this one is on the Wild Oats tag, another good fitting t-shirt that you'll see pop up. And then yeah, it's got a few like paint splatters, which is really nice touch. This one is a t-shirt that is one of my favorites that I really don't wear too often. I love Rage, love everything about Rage, but this one is pretty thrashed. And sometimes when it's thrashed in that nip area, I get a little nervous. I don't really wanna show too much nip. So uh, I'm thinking about getting them stitched up by a tailor. Um, and then this one is on a Giant, which I don't think I've showed off yet. Giant makes really great t-shirts too. This one is 1999, so it's not single stitch, but uh, still great faded nonetheless. This one right here is crazy. It's a Gloria Estevan shirt with the back print with all the different crazy colors, like the blue, the red, and the yellow, and then that beautiful purple on the front with kind of a different color collar, as you guys can tell. This is single stitch again, and this is on a Screen Stars, but it was cut for some reason, I don't know. This one is a Metallica Don't Tread On Me t-shirt with the front and back print designed by Pushhead, as you can tell right there. Um, single stitch, this one also fits me super well. Isn't super faded, um, but nonetheless fits me really well. The sleeves are kind of long, which I like, so it kind of comes a little bit past your elbow. Um, but it's also short and boxy, so good little fit. All right, another Jane's Addiction on another Brockham One Size Fits All. This one's insane too. I actually get a ton of wear out of this one because you guys can tell it's really faded. And I love that the print actually like goes right up to the neckline, which I haven't really seen before. The only thing that's a, that's a bad thing is that it has all these like holes, which I just put safety pins in so that they don't open and show my chest, which I am thinking of taking it to a tailor and actually getting it stitched up but this kind of creates the look, you know, of a thrash t-shirt. Next up, we have this unfortunate reprint. It's printed on like a Hanes tag, as you can see, but black flag, everything went black. It's super washed, super soft, super faded, nothing on the back, but it is a reprint, which doesn't bug me because the front is super faded and, and, and worn out. So I don't really wear this too much, but has a special place in my heart again. All right, last up for the black music tees is this 
Aliens, the Aliens t-shirt. I know nothing about this band. Um, I just saw this at a flea market and had to pick it up because of the fit. It's super wide and cropped um, and I could just turn it inside out. But I do actually really like that color on the front. So this is one I don't know about, but the fit sometimes trumps the, uh, the band, which I'm sorry. Okay, next up we are going to get into, I only have like four non-black or non-white band t-shirts. So we're gonna do that right now. Uh, first up is this one that you guys have seen on my Instagram. One of my favorite fitting shirts ever. I think it's a 24 by 26. So that's kind of what I go for if I'm looking for a vintage shirt. It says Rolling Stones one, it says the Rolling Stones on the back. It's in the Blazers colors. So, you know, Portland has a little special place in my heart. I keep saying that phrase, but love the way this one fits. And it's on a Fruit of the Loom Made in USA tag size XL. Next up, we have this No Doubt All Red t-shirt. As you can tell right there, No Doubt graphic on the back. I think this one is from 91. So this is one of the older ones I have and it's single stitch on both hands. This was Gwen Stefani's old band. So love this one a lot. Don't wear it too much because it's red, but um, I do need to incorporate that into my wardrobe a little bit more. Next up, we have this Breeders t-shirt with the helmet on the front with the pink fuzzy. This one's crazy. It's printed on an Anvil Large, so it is a little bit short, skinnier and cropped, um, but it's from 1994. That one in the No Doubt, we actually Minkle bought to sell on Hellmark, but I think both of us couldn't really give them up, so I just have held on to them. I haven't really worn them, but just held on to them. So, uh, yeah, this is a, a special one with the with the sleeve print, which is pretty crazy too. You don't really see that too often. All right, last up, we have this Rage Against the Machine Evil Empire promo T-shirt. So it's not like a normal one that you can find in this gold yellow colorway, which is insane. And then on the back, it says April 16. It is from the 90s. Rage Against the Machine with the epic right there. This one's crazy, it is a little big on me, so potentially might let it go. I did buy it off my homie, so I don't feel bad, but uh, it's insanely soft and insanely faded, and the whole collar is like cut, as you can tell right there, so it's got a nice thrashed feeling, so. Okay, let's get into the white, and then we're gonna do uh, these graphic tees, and then we're gonna call it good. All right, getting in with the white music t-shirts, we have this Bruce Springsteen one, front and back print, which are both insanely faded out as you can tell right there i bought this one off of cole actually and i just love that font like look at that right there it's crazy uh i don't get a ton actually i'm gonna start wearing this one more it's a little long i usually like a 26 27 length i think this one's like a 28 or 29 uh inches um so yeah i do love this one a lot it it's a super super it's like paper thin i don't even know if you can tell can you tell Maybe, yeah. Next up, we have this, another Black Flag t-shirt. This one's just their basic, you know, whatever, logo. This one is single stitch on both hems. Um, I do love this one. Potentially might get rid of it. It fits me a little small. So if someone's interested in this one, I just got it recently. So just email me, jacobjkeller at gmail.com. I'm fielding offers on all this stuff. So yeah, I love this one a lot though. Like the white Black Flag tee, you don't see a ton of. Um, so I'm excited about this. Next up, we have my bleached kiss t-shirt that started the whole craze of the bleaching your black t-shirts white. Um, this is on the cronies tag, which I love the way the fit of. This one says, were you there for the end of the world? Love this print, but I thought, you know what? It could be sick white. And it is, this one's a little more tan. Um, but like you can see like the guys, like all of their like white got bleached out. So now it's only just like the black uh, graphic of them. And then on the back, yeah, and then it still keeps the black stitch, which is super sick. Single stitch on the sleeves, love this shirt. Next up, we have this Killer Bees t-shirt. This one was a long sleeve and someone actually cut it into a short sleeve. So as you can see, like it's cut off right there. And then it was a little long, so I just actually cut it shorter to kind of keep with the theme. So this is like an old reggae band. Um, I really love the like how full the graphic is and then uh, the colors used. So like a white with the black and red is super sick, so. Yeah, love this one. This one's like kind of paper thin too. I don't know if you can tell. This one's another one of my favorites. You guys have already seen this actually, the Pearl Jam Yield Tour from 1998. I bought this off a guy on eBay who was actually at the show. So he bought this at the show. So I had one owner in this entire lifetime, which I love stories like that. It kind of makes me want to purchase it a little more. Uh, love the graphic. Pearl Jam, Eddie Vedder is, you know, from the Pacific Northwest, another one of my favorite bands. So love this one a lot. Next up, we have this 1994 Pink Floyd. I believe this is the Division Bell um, t-shirt. I mainly, 
If I'm gonna wear this one, I mainly wear it inside out just because I, it's super oversized and boxy. So if I wanna do just like a basic white t-shirt oversized, I'll just throw this one inside out. So I did unfortunately cut the tag out, which was a Brockham tag, which kind of killed the resale value. But I don't really plan on getting rid of this one, so it doesn't really matter too much. So it's Pink Floyd. Next up, definitely one of my favorite t-shirts um, is this The Cure Wish Tour. Look at the front with the pink and the green. Now this one is especially rare because yes, it was the Wish Tour, but this shirt was only sold at one location. So it was only sold at the Long Beach Arena on Sunday, June 21st, 1992. 1992, the year I was born. As you know, I have a little soft spot for that. So this one is on a Screen Stars XL. We'll never be getting rid of this. So don't hit me up about it. It fits me great. Um, so that's why I love this one. Uh, and then like that kind of like, it's like a teal emerald. I love that color, super sick. All right, this is a nine inch nails t-shirt that is pretty big as you can tell. So it definitely fits like a double XL. So I haven't technically worn it yet, but the front print is pretty crazy. And then it has the back print as well. And like this like kind of plum purple and green, which I really like that color. So this isn't one I've worn a ton, but it is single stitch on both hems. So, you know, if someone wants to come at me with an offer, hit me up. Next up, another crazy one. This one is the Sex Pistols, pretty vacant, nowhere boredom. The Sex Pistols will play. This one's crazy. Like, look at the back, how they use like the, obviously like they use the kind of like serial killer, you know, newspaper clipping font um, for all the cities on the back, as you can tell right there, which is insane. The Filthy Luke Ray Tour, love this one. Printed on the gem tag. So it's still got the tag on it. Can you see it right there? Single stitch on both hems. It does have a little bit of pit stain, but uh, that's what makes it better. Not really, honestly, no. Next up, we got this Eagles t-shirt. And if you listen to the Failing Upwards podcast, I can't literally name three songs by them. Uh, I don't think anyone can, but the fit of it's crazy. It's got super short and wide. And then the back is what sold me. Look at that. Hell Freezes Over 1995 tour with the little devil with the horns. And all the colors is insane on this one. So I love this one a lot. Um, I actually just got it recently, so haven't been able to wear it a ton, but it's single stitch on both hems and that back print is crazy. Speaking of front and back prints being crazy, this Green Day World Tour 1995 one is insane as well. So it's got the it's got Green Day on the back and it's got all the cities and it says World Tour 1995. But the, I might have to stand for this, but the front is insane. So it literally has this woman pointing a gun at her baby right there. And it's got like all this like fire stuff. Like this one's crazy. Like the front is insane. So, and the fit of it's crazy too, because it's a Screen Stars XL, which usually fit me really well. So a little short and wide, but graphic on this one's insane. Next up, one of my most worn inside out t-shirts. So I usually wear this one inside out because I don't, no offense, I'm sorry, everyone. I don't really care about Garth Brooks too much it's the fit of this one. It's like paper thin and it's super soft and it's got a little distressing on the neck right there. But the back is pretty crazy, like how faded that is. Like, look, you can just see how soft this is. Um, I wear this one inside out a lot. I actually wore it with one of my Instagram pictures a while ago and everyone commented on how the t-shirt fit crazy. I think it was signed by him, as you can tell right there. But uh, it's the only thing is, is just the fit, so. All right, last up for the white, before we get into just the basic graphic tees, is this 1996 Lollapalooza shirt, which was an insane year. I actually had another t-shirt that said the bands. This one didn't say the bands. This one just says the cities, but um, with the little devil guy on the front printed on the giant tag. Again, this is another one of those white t-shirts that just fits really great. And uh, the colors are really popping as you can see that graphic is super faded as well. So love this shirt. So now let's get into the graphic tees. Holy crap, I need some water, hold on a second. Next up, we probably have my most paper thin t-shirt. This Betty Boop one right here. This is one of my first vintage tees I actually ever bought. So as you can see, it's got like holes and all that stuff and it's super, super thin. Yeah, you can see right there. The hand on this one is insane. Um, don't obviously, I actually wear it inside out. I love Betty Boop, but don't really care about the graphic. Wear it inside out. Next up. Batman Riddler t-shirt. This one's insane. Again, I would maybe wear it this way, but you can see the fade. What would I do? Turn it inside out, wear it as a basic black t-shirt. But I got it because one, it, it fit really well, but because of the Batman Riddler on the front, so yeah. This one's crazy too. This is a 
Harley Davidson knucklehead t-shirt, which fits me a little big, but the fade on it is insane. And then on the back, it has, uh, you know, the basic, you know, the Harley logo with the city that they usually that they're, the dealership is at. So you can tell the fade, look at, you can see the black stitch, but everything else is kind of faded out. The front's insane too. Um, I love this one. It is a little big though. So next up, we have one of my most favorite recent purchases. This one is this all over graphic that says, my goodness, my Guinness. And it has the guy reaching into an alligator's mouth to grab his Guinness. This shirt's crazy, no back print, but that full graphic is insane. So I actually do wear this normally, like with it actually showing. So this isn't one I turn inside out, but that's crazy. Next up, we got this insane one. This is from an actual pub in New York City. My homie Cole, not the Cole you guys know, a different Cole, sold me this one. The Slaughter Lamb Pub, it's got everything on front. It says beware, and the mouth of the skull is actually a hole, but the back print is insane. Look at that, it has this vicious looking dog with the Slaughter Lamb Pub, 182 West 4th Street, Greenwich, is that how you say Greenwich? I thought that was, no, Greenwich Village, New York City. I don't know, I'm not from New York. Single stitch on both hems. This one's insane. Uh, that This basically like makes it right here. So I'm excited about this. Next up, if you guys know, you guys know I've, I've owned roughly four of these in my lifetime. I've actually sold them all except for this one. Look at the sun fade, man. Look at that. It's insane. The only bad thing is it has this huge hole right here, which I do want to take to a tailor and get stitched up, but the sun fade on this one is unlike any of the other ones I've ever had. So you guys have seen on my channel, Lord's Gym, his pain, your gain. Um, but you've never seen it this faded, this thrashed, this distressed. So some dude probably really worked out hard in this shirt. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do next maybe. Maybe I'll work out in this shirt. So there you go. Next up, we just have a super paper thin, soft white pocket t-shirt. But I think it was light blue before because all the stitching is blue. Um, I don't know if you can even tell. Oh wait, you can tell like right here. All the stitching was blue, so I think someone bleached it and now it turned out like this. So this is again, one I don't have to turn inside out, can just wear it normally, so. Next up, we have this Summer 92 Winston t-shirt. Cigarette brand, I don't, I don't do it, I don't condone it, but the, like, the graphic crackling and the fit of it is insane. It's like super short and wide and I don't know. I care about shirts I can turn inside out, as you guys know, and wear basic blanks. So this is one of them, but I don't mind the graphic either. This next one's crazy. This is printed on an old Russell Athletic tag from the 90s, but it has just a basic eight ball print on it. But the fit is what got me. Like it's super short and wide. Um, and again, like that eight ball is like a super sick print. I don't know anything about it, but I bought it off a homie at a flea market. So I don't know, just like a super, super sick shirt. Next up, one of my favorite t-shirts. One, because of the color, and two, because of the print. So this is like this faded emerald green that's basically just been sun drenched and sun dyed, you know, to all hell. But this shirt has all of the, these different bird droppings. So it has like a bird dropping and then it says which bird did that dropping. So it's super quirky and weird and random, but um, basically like the fade of this shirt is insane. And I think it's on a Oneida, I don't even know how to say that uh power t-shirt which is one of the best fitting t-shirts as well got a little bleach stain on the back too love this shirt the color of this is crazy next up we have this old either 70s or 80s champion tag um it's the motor city striders i think it was just like a like a marathon or something in detroit and the sh color of this shirt is insane it's also super paper thin as you can tell i just love like the faded yellow of it and then like the blue but if you don't want the blue you just turn it inside out and you can wear it basic blank so this one's really sick all right this is one of my most recent pickups i do not eat beef but the color and the graphic and the fade and the the all-around wear of this shirt is what made me pick it up i also got it for like 10 bucks uh beef eater summer gin and it's got the big lime on the front single stitch on both hems it's like super kind of like distressing. You can see the white spots on the back. It's printed on a Screen Stars XL. I just love like the print of this one. It's crazy. Um, so this is super fire. And we're gonna get into the last one. This last one is one of my most recent pickups, but just an insane t-shirt. So 
Look at the fit on this one. I think this is from the 80s. Um, the neck is unfortunately super wide, but it's super thick and ribbed. And it says boys and balls, sports casual. It's got these two guys just tossing fits on the front. And then it, it's in um, it's in Spanish. This, this part's in Spanish, this part's in Spanish, but then this part is in English. And then it says like smallest cigarette lighter in the world, $1 kick potency. And then it's got like, I think that's Russian. I, I, yeah, I have no idea what this shirt is. Single stitch on both hems, but the color of it, the graphic is just what made me do it and the fit. Like, this shit's crazy. I love this stuff. Woo! That was it, man. I cannot believe we did all that. I think this video is actually gonna turn out to be like 30 minutes, which is unfortunate. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Shop Tagger, for uh, sponsoring the video. If you guys want to potentially purchase any of these t-shirts, email me, jacobjkeller at gmail.com. And if you have any shirts that you want to unload and sell in like a bulk deal, me and Cole at Hellmart are always buying. So email me with stuff like that. Again, we have to like make money on the shirt. So, you know, I'm not gonna pay what we would sell it at. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, these are just personals. Like I said, I've seen hundreds and hundreds come and go. We've sold hundreds on the site. Um, but these are just ones that I've kept and kind of hold a place in my heart. But again, I'm always rotating, always cycling. So just let me know. So that's my vintage t-shirt collection. Thank you guys so much for watching and remember to stay fresh, my friends. Peace. The aftermath. <laughs> Look at that stack. What you looking at?